Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using a special mod for Germany called Gross Deutscher Bund which gives Germany a unique focus tree after you pose a certain dude which is on the right side here and we can have a great bright future but let's go and read the first focus. Mr. Schmidt's reign must come to an end. He means to provoke the Western powers by remilitarizing the Rhineland, but doing so will give us the excuse we need to seize the power, or seize power, with the help of loyal elements in the Wehrmacht. Some dudes start a civil war, place will become uh, demilitarized, and we get some political power, which is pretty nice. So, and as you can see on screen, I've already just gone ahead and done everything else. But welcome to the Bund mod, the Gross Deutsche Bund. Tip with two Ps: you should enable historical AI for this mod to have the best experience, which I did enable historical AI. Uh, earlier before I started recording. How to get started? After you pose them, you'll receive a message from the Soviet High Command and shortly after. The right decision will enable the focus tree of this mod. The right decision. Okay. I highly encourage you to start opposing them as soon as possible. You have enough time to go for the research slot while you fight the war. We all know Hoy's tendency to go wonky and given too much delay. Otherwise, the mod is lactose intolerant, so don't use too much cheese. <laughs> oh, have fun. Oh, we will probably. So, uh, why am I playing this mod? Well, it seems interesting. And also, someone in my Discord server or even the comment section recommended that we do this. So, why not? So, let's see. We'll use the German city names. Mun Munich becomes München. And then Nuremberg becomes Nuremberg. Cool. And, of course, like normal Germany, Vanilla Hoy 4, we have the MEOF bills, which... We're obviously going to be losing soon, so we're posing big old daddy here. In a bright future, see, we have to accept Soviet help. Okay, so with this mod, uh, we have apparently different states or something. So we have like, you know, East Prussia has been broken up. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't tried this off screen at all. So as you can tell, like, my soldiers are still just kind of hanging out, having a good time here. Uh, what the heck? No, no, thank you. I must have only done one army, so... Cool. Just waiting for the Rhineland to finish. I've also organized the planes a little bit more. I haven't really organized the Navy too much. Obviously, I don't really care about the Navy since we're going to be heading into a civil war. So, no, whatever. And planes, we have a couple planes here as well. Right here. I've already organized them into nice little stacks. So, literally just waiting for things to blow up. And the research we're doing is basic machine tools, construction one, electronic and mechanical engineering, of course, and improved airplane catapults because I love airplane catapults. The mods we're using are the Gross Deutsche Bund mod. Uh, CHS tool mod, colored events, and player of the peace conferences. Pretty much the tried and true standard stuff that I always use. Uh, we can research some of that just because I don't think we'll be able to keep the research once we go down <clears throat> and descend into a little bit of a civil conflict, we'll say. And the Wehrmacht officers challenge Mr. Hitler. Latent dissatisfaction with Hitler's rule has come to a head with the current crisis caused by the administration's move to remilitarize the Rhineland. A number of Wehrmacht generals have rallied behind the well-known Field Marshal August von Mackensen, who has put in motion plans aiming to depose Hitler and remove the Nazi party from Germany. With the split in the German high command becoming clearly apparent even abroad, foreign powers have elected not to protest against the remilitarization, more concerned from the growing internal German instability. The aging Field Marshal has moved quickly, already establishing a provisional government, to which scores have flocked in their opposition to the Nazi government. The military coup is already well on its way. Purge this Nazi scum from our Landorinos. Cool. And they went to war with us. It is what it is. Whatever. Oh, look. We actually still have you guys here, too, huh? All right. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go and do this, too. So we have two tank divisions, which is not bad. And actually, I've not done the Civil War for a very, 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 very long time. So we can't do anything on the right side. As you can see, there's quite a few more things here, which we can eventually pursue the European dream and become the European Union or have the natural borders of Germany. So, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and do, how about a four-year plan? Why not? We need an ambitious plan to provide for the rearmament and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved within the next uh, four years or so. All right, so we have you guys. You guys are already here. And you guys are just kind of hanging out. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to send half you guys there, and then half you guys right there. There you go. Thank you. And who do we currently have? Kesselring, Manteuffel, Klusher, why not? Field Marshal, uh, mm, yeah, we'll use you because I'm going to use these tanks quite a bit. And who do we have here? Ooh, Von Manstein. I almost always choose Von Manstein. You know, I think he's just a cool dude. He's just a cool dude, that's all. Alright, usually, sometimes when I t do the German Civil War, I like to take out Poland first, but hey, whatever. Uh, you know what? Oh, Scavenger might not be bad. You know, I'm going to go Scavenger just because hopefully we can grab some more equipment, so. And over here, Urban Assault Specialist, of course. No other things about that. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
Do we do we still literally own all these ships? Okay. Uh, how about everyone come on over here? Let's have a good time together. Yes, come on to Wilhelmshaven. And before we get started, planes. Do we have any planes? Oh, yeah, it's pretty much half of what we had originally. Fighters, tactical bombers, do we have anything else? How about 100 more tactical bombers? Sure, why not? So, everyone, boom, boom, boom. You know how it's going to have to be. We're probably going to attack... Ooh, which part of Germany do we want to attack first? That's a good question. Effort? Do we want to push over here? Uh, where's the best place? We could try to get to Nuremberg and try to go up that way. I don't know. I could try that. Why not? All right, we got 220 physical power. We're in partial mobilization. War economy might not be bad. I might actually go ahead and do some of this stuff though. Mm hmm. Heinz Guderian might not be bad. I don't think that. Oh, how about do we have any general? Oh, infantry attack defense could give us a group. You know what? We'll do that one first. Why not? And anything out of date? Shippies. Whatever. Germany and Broadens of War. There's no turning back now. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Tank Arenos. Turkey remilitarizes at Turkish Straits. Have a good time with that turkey. As long as we don't lose anywhere, that's the main uh, goal, you know. Head on in, boys. And actually, so we got this. You guys are doing a pretty good job with that. Throw some tactical bombers up here, too. And do we have any fighters? Ooh, no. Alright. Well, that kind of sucks. Stukas, let's grab some of this. Like normal. Help them out up north. That's the most important thing to do. Alright, tanky boys. Oh, they got some tanks down there too. Hmm. I would just love to pile drive that direction, but I don't think we can really pile drive that way. Uh, you guys probably come down here, here, here. There you go. Hmm. There you go. Send the tanks in. And. Send you guys in too. With one, two. Boomerinos. Soviet Union offers assistance. Stalin detests Hitler's idea of national socialism, daddyism. He wants to see the Nazis gone as much as we do. He offered to send his German volunteers, especially from the Volga German Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, to our cause. To help our cause. This would also help open direct channels for Soviet influence across the heart of Europe, however. Their arrival will probably take some weeks. Ah, sure, why not? We love the Soviet daddies. Soviets never did anything wrong. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that, but yeah, whatever. Oh, here he goes. Ethiopia. Goodbye, Ethiopia. Good luck. Come on. Can we beat him up? Oh, yes. Very nice. Let's go and grab some mechanical computing. And maybe we should focus on a little bit more on our land doctrine once we're done with this. Hey. There we go. Screw it. We're going to go straight from Nuremberg. We can cut these guys off. Go, go, go. Nazi explosion takes heavy toll on Franken. So I'm going to read this once because this happens every time. You know, you take more cities and such. We finally managed to secure control over Franken. But fighting has been severe. The Nazis grow ever more fanatical and desperate as we advance, often fighting until the surrounding area lies in ruins. There's also been reports of scorched earth tactics in accordance with Hitler's Nero Befeil. We can undoubtedly expect further destruction other than scale until we can end this war. A small price to pay for our fatherland. They really don't like us here, huh? Why don't, why don't you like us, man? We're just trying to make Germany great. Oh, come on, man. If that's the case, let the line stretch out a little bit more. I'll put ourselves right here and prepare to advance. There you go. Oh, Volga Germans survived. I thought that was, that was faster than a few weeks. Today, several transports with volunteers arrived in Hamburg. The men took, looked skinny and were from uh, as young as 16 to old as 60, but all share the same grim look on their face. Their demeanor only changed when they were greeted by cheering crowds of onlookers. It was also quite questionable whether they fight for a cause or just want to escape the old treatise. Uh, their homeland. Most of them have also never held a gun before. The time will tell how valuable their assistance will be. It is an appreciated nonetheless. Now, if you're going to help attack, you must well do that too. Oh. Some Volga Germans. Oh, 20 combo with nice. There you go. Balls through the line, my friends. I'm going to need maybe a little spot more fuel. Um, you guys can just. Don't worry about that. There, just go there. <clears throat> Let them do what they must. It doesn't matter to me. Let them try to attack us. Now, I could try to really just win the Civil War right now, but I'm waiting for more divisions to get in here and cover our lineup. Well, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm totally okay with this. 96%, 97%. Screw it. Send one thing back and help them out there. Come on, boys. You got this. Defeat those Nazis. All right. Oh, Frankfurt is actually capital. Do they have a lot of student protests there? <clears throat> Just asking for a friend. 
No, oh, oh, they're still attacking. How many? How many germs have died? Five thousand versus seventy thousand. Wow. Cool. Now I like the tank back up here, and now that we have divisions up here, a second limited naval treaty signed. Why would they restrict themselves like that? Because they can. I don't really care about those guys. Ooh, promote Gusgeth. Oh, look at that. Von Treskow, Stauffenberg, <gasps> Princess Victoria Louise of Prussia. Oh my goodness. Sharpen safety regulations. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going to actually happen. So, Jaeger not program. Man. I want to improve working conditions. What are we making right now? Civvies? Hmm. Well, let's get some more army XP. Or army doctrine, I should really say. So, alright. You guys did a good job. Let's go through here if we can. And then you guys go pop and have a good time. And you guys go pop and have a good time. Basic machine tools are pretty nice. Let's go with... Ooh, ooh we got to go disperse industry. You know what? I always choose that one. I'm going to choose concentrated. I always choose that other one. Make it a little different this time, you know? Cool. All right, so these guys are going to die, which is very, very nice. Um, go, just go ahead. Just go ahead and move on in. We don't want to deal with these guys anyway, so. Other tanks do their tank thing. We'll have the war done by Christmas, I hope. All right, boys, let's go on in. Get the infantry support, air support as well. And we'll have a good old time. Oh, Soviet Volunteer Department. Propaganda Department of the Soviet Union has used stage photographs to boast about the success of the glorious socialist heroes fighting the false na Nazi socialists. Given the exaggerated success of the volunteers, the Soviet High Command decided to follow it up with the formation of a new department, tasked with the registration, training, and management of willing individuals who would like to assist the com communist ideals in foreign conflicts. This will surely strengthen their influence on future incidents by a great margin. They grossly overestimated their contribution. Well, whatever. I don't really care. Whatever happens, happens. 4-year plans? Why not a 10-year plan? Because that would be too long. Naval rearmament might not be bad to do either. Armament Innovation Zone. Hans Guderian and other radical theorists are pushing for daring new doctrines, emphasizing communication, identification of Schwerpunkt, and local concentrations of combined armed forces. Giving them free range might help avoid the meek grander hordes of the Great War. Which would be very good. Uh, since you're moving in anyways, there you go. Help them out. Help them out. Thank you. Come again. Ah, uh, screw it. Help them out too, so we lose less people. Oh, go right there. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. There you go. Ah, we actually have the carrier fighters. I guess I'm going to go with carriers. Cool. And I'll grab some artillery because again. Beautiful. That's probably much to be able to launch a general attack. That'd probably be pretty costly. I don't want to, you know, kill off too many Germans. Let's finish this area down here. Now, attacking a river is a really bad idea, but we'll lead with the tanks. Nice. Head on into them. Uh, you know what? We could, ooh, can we really win? We might be able to. Let the tanks just do what they want to. Workers threaten strikes. Workers have been taking, taking the outrage to the streets, heavily criticizing the extra workload. During the Civil War, they now demand immediate reforms and more power once the war is over. Oh, more communist support. I don't like that. <coughs> no, no, no. Oh, we don't have enough uh, political power. That's fine. Whatever. I really wonder if we could just win here. All right, if we can, just go ahead. I don't really care. Force the attack. Force them down. Cool. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, grab some reinforce rate. Radio is always pretty nice to get. These guys will die. These guys... Well, they must have attacked a lot. How many are dead? Oh, wow. Quite a few guys. Uh, Overbuy'em. Same thing. Whatever. Oh, you guys are... No, come on, guys. Let's go. <clears throat> Socialists and Communists unite. Out of the blue, the Communists and hardliners of the Socialist Party have announced a close to cooperation, giving them a dangerous amount of influence and followers. This must be a result of Soviet underground work. Oh boy. I wonder if we can flip to Communism eventually. Alright, at this point, this is not very good. I don't like this. Need a buy-in. Good. Alright, you guys have nothing to do? Well, we'll change that. Don't want to forget about them playing Reno's. Let's go. Everyone, country forces over here. Turingen. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. 
Oh, initiated labor union negotiations. To counteract the momentum of the left as we have begun taking steps towards worker appeasement. It worked under Bismarck, so why shouldn't we take the first step once more? One of the core demands of the workers was firm limiting the maximum work hours per day. The more reforms we grant, the less attack vectors the leftists will have. This will hinder our productivity heavily, though. You lazy bunch, and this is not a time for being lazy. Issue limited decree? Uh, yeah, probably. That'd probably be good. Yeah, that's fine with me. Just to help stifle their popularity. So now we have 27,000. Yeah, that's not bad. A quarter million of them have died. It's unfortunate that Germans are killing Germans, but hey, sometimes Germans gotta do what Germans gotta do. They were merely following orders. Mackinson assumes direct control. Mecklenburg, okay. Is there anything else I really care about? Sharpen safety regulations? Mm, ask what we'll do anyways. Why not? Yeah, we're out of fuel. That doesn't help. Let's grab a little bit more. Spot of fuel. There you go. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Soviet Union? Yeah, they're helping us out anyways. Leftist demands recollectivization. The Nazi parties absorbed countless business and factories into their greedy hands after their rise to power. People now demand compensation and at least a brief transfer of some factories to the unions. Private union-based businesses have shown to be more effective in the long term. This measure would put a heavy initial strain on the economy, however. Now they belong to the state. Whatever pleases the mob? Eh, for two years, whatever. 38,000 losses versus a lot more. I don't think the Germans really have, well, those Germans really have that much left in them. Treaty of the USSR, air innovations, not bad. Uh, I kind of like that one. Westwall would be kind of nice, but autarky. For Germany to be truly great, it must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of our resources and become more efficient in our construction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Brandenburg, a small prize for... Up the, oh, Hitler found dead. With the capture of Berlin, our troops discovered the corpse of Hitler in a bunker in the city. Choosing death over seeing anti-fascist elements take over the country, the leader event, evidently took his own life rather than risk capture. And instead, Daddy, 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 a Heinrich Himmler has now stepped up to lead the Nazis, and he's already affirmed that the government will not abate in their fight against anti-German treason. It is the beginning of the end for the big old Daddy Nazi party. Why do I call them big old daddies? Because why not? Who cares? Oh, it looks like it's pretty green. I think we're doing pretty darn well. And underground network discovered. We recently received intel that there must be several small underground cells operating from the shadows across Germany. The consensus is that there is something they are up to something. All strings seem to lead towards Moscow. There are also reports of weapon and ammunition thefts which have been falsely assumed to have been carried out by Nazi sympathizers. It looks like the network is using the chaos of the civil war to prepare themselves for something bigger. We should infiltrate those cells and slowly take them over from the inside. At least we know what's happening now. Oh no. I'm gonna click on that. I don't lose the ability to get more communist sympathizers. No, thank you. Oh, well, goodbye. Oh. All right. We're the German military junto. So, the Nazi leadership captured. As long last, we freed our country from the grip of our enemies, and those loyal citizens who rose up in support of our cause may now finally return to their homes as a nation. We may begin the long and arduous process of rebuilding our nation. The country's leadership in turn is free to begin looking ahead at what might come in the future, democracy or return to the old monarchy. One last thing to be, remains to be taken care of, however. With the end of the Civil War, our troops have managed to capture a large group of Nazi leadership. Now there only remains a decision of what to do with this unsavory part of recent history. Hang them. Get more stability, less fascism. Which is fine, you know. Yeah, that's already pretty small, though. I like the stability gain. Ooh, imprison them for life. They might come to become useful in the future. Uh, Metal Regalrum. We're not getting any more daily gain. And we're squashing the Soviet influence for now. I kind of want that political power, I'll be honest. So, it could be useful for later. Yeah, I definitely want that political power for now. I'll grab you, because we're going to build up a lot of civilian factors here. Oh, no more Soviet influence? Good. Okay, it's actually going down, so at least we know what's happening now. I'm not going to click on that. I don't want to lose stability anymore. Underground network. Whatever. Recall him? I mean, we could. I mean, that's okay. We only get 0.83 for now. And Altarki, we got to wait for Altarki to finish first, so... Alright, not bad. I think we did a pretty good job with the Civil War. We have plenty of guns. And I think for now, we got to make... A lot more fighters. Tanks would be actually really nice, too. So, Cool. Alright, well. When do we take out Poland, then? Actually, we're a non-aligned party, so we can't do this yet, because we need more world tension. Oh, terrible. Games of the Olympiad were held in Berlin, Germany. Well, we had enough time to build to do that, huh? Wow. Alright, we just had a civil war, so, but everyone, come on over. Let's go ahead and have a, you know the Olympic Games. Totally okay. Totally fine. Just don't ask about what's going on. All right, you guys do that. Plane wise, underground network infiltrated. Actually, uh, let's see. After several smaller sabotage efforts and missions and thefts, our agents have proven themselves. 
Though this has earned them the trust of the cell leaderships and granted them entrance into the inner circles. This will diminish their chance on a critical success in the future. We should now be able to steer their attention towards other goals. We've also gathered into which suggests that Stalin was planning to prolong the civil war long enough. The stage of communist coup once the whole country would be sufficiently weakened. He has underestimated us. Nice. We get more stability? Great. Weekly stability, I should really say. Well, I mean, technically, we don't get any more. We're just not, you know, losing as much. All right. I see. I say the war will be over by Christmas. Very good. Now, let's see. I want carriers. I, I definitely want carriers, so. And after this, let's go to the right side of the tree and see what happens. A bright future. Hitler and his goons are gone. Our nation is free once more. It is time for our men to go home to celebrate and mourn our fallen heroes who gave their life for the cause. But we must put those who are guilty to justice. Well, our volunteer divisions have disbanded. Now that the war is over, the Soviet high command is called the Volga Germans home. The majority of them, however, express their desire to stay in Germany and to be repatriated. After releasing the ones too old or unfit for military service from duty, we would still be left with a sizable amount of fit men for regular service if we let them stay. If they go, they will be resentful towards us and will therefore be valuable assets for the Soviet propaganda. Let them stay, they've earned their welcome. Or let them go, many of them can be, can't be fully trusted. Hmm... Sounds like a problem we let, let them stay here, but... You know what? We'll let them stay, why not? So, let's do the next focus. Rebuild a nation? Stabilize a nation. Stabilization might be really good, but... Mm hmm. Realpolitik. Oh, we need more manpower in the field, huh? Pass on the torch. Daily communism support for... <laughs> for France? Okay. Let's see. Ignite the Spock. The aftermath. Let's do rebuild a nation. Hitler's so-called patriots had nothing better to do than sabotage their own people. They, they they knew that they'd lost. Central and East Germany now lies in ruins. Bridges are broken and railroads destroyed. It'll take some time to rebuild. Objects can be easily repaired, but it is the soul and spirit of Germany that will take time to heal. And I've also I've gone ahead and got Heinz Guderian underway. Das Deutsches Deutschen Vaterland. Hitler's doctrine has still divided our nation. His vision for a greater Germany still prevails, but his ill-fated hate against the Jews is tainted our legacy. We have to go back to our old values, as Ernst Moritz Ant wrote in 1813 in his famous song, Everyone who speaks German is part of our nation. Soviet, die Deutsche Zunge klingt. Religion does not matter. Let us show it to this world by making it our anthem. Oh, cool. Very nice. And also we've begun researching some naval carrier bombers, just because whenever we get carriers, I can throw them on. And we're doing late, delayed auction, and as you can see, we're doing some carriers as well. Let's see, we have 11 here, and what are we currently using? 10, 15, eh, it's not bad, it'll be done within two months. We're still building up some ships, I'm trading the ships already, just because we might as well. These ships probably aren't very good. Pre-Dreadnought hulls. well, we can't even pierce itself. Deutschland class, oh, oh, that hurts seeing itself, oh. At the very minimum, you've got to have every single slot filled. I mean, I can understand, understand radar at the beginning, but oh my goodness, you're breaking my hot game. You're breaking my hot. Regardless, Austrian friendships? Do we do that one? Oh, current ruling party is democratic. Oh, crap. Well, let's stabilize the nation then. Everyone's still high on alert, and people fear that a junta wants to keep the power. We have to make sure that people feel safe again if we want things to go back to normal. We should start by guaranteeing the various rights the people enjoyed during the Republic, as well as elections for ministries down the line. For now, Mackinson will take over the role of the Reichs... Reichsverwässer, just like Hindenburg did. Oh boy. And 20 days with that one done. Pass on the torch. Let's get rid of our commies. By accepting the help of the Soviets, the weaponry, and their volunteers, we've opened a doorway to Western Europe. The radical left in Germany has used this for time, and has used this time to organize and supply themselves. They've successfully infiltrated their operations. Given their failure to slow down the civil war, they now lack a clear objective. We should give them one by planning dreams of a French commune. Absolutely. Let the French deal with it. Also, I do have the Allied and Axis speeches pack, because I bought it when I was on sale. I don't know why I bought it, just because I could, I suppose. But happy 1937. Hmm. Hmm, maybe we should have gone down there earlier. Probably should have. Hmm. Not bad. Cool. And promote people. I don't see a point of doing that. Let's go and do Austrian friendships. After showing to our German neighbors that we still have believe in our pan-German solution, we should follow up by building close relations between our states. Daily democracy support, huh? Oh, God. 
Huh. Second Deutscher Bund, the first iteration of the German Confederation, existed between 1815 and 1866 as a successor to the dissolved Holy Roman Empire. It removed trade barriers and gave security. We should enter another Bund with together Austria and all other German states who want to join. Hmm. Less political power, better consumer goods, infrastructure. <clears throat> and then, uh, revive Abteilung Drei Bay. Abteilung Drei Bay was a secret police of the Kaiserreich. It was not very well developed and almost irrelevant during the First World War. We should not make this mistake twice. We should learn from this mistake and properly rebuild our agency. We should also start by supplying ourselves within the German-speaking parts of the French border region. Nice. Oh, let's grab this too. Million manpower, not bad. Have we done training? No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Man, man, we're moving pretty quickly here, which I like. Like, 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 like. Yeah, revive these guys, that'd be fine with me. Ignite the spark. Viva. So we. Oh, French refugees. Alright. Oh, look at this. Claims an Istra. Hum. Oh, we changed our flag too. Deutsche Bund. Oh, Reichswehrwasser gives us plus 20%. Uh, political power, I kind of like that. Mm, for now, I want more stability, so... Don't do that, that's fine. Oh, good, they're in the Civil War, I love it. And we're democratic. Oh, well. Ignite the spark. Well, let's go and do Cisleitania. Was well, the name of the Austrian lands of the dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary, we should recognize these lands as part of our close friend, Austria, before we can take the steps in actually reclaiming them. We should also limit them how, anyhow, to the core lands in order not to disturb any more neighbors than necessary. This should greatly enhance our chances of success. No, I can't jump on yours, god dang it. Ah. Fruit machine tools are next. And ease Austria. Oh, tensions. Oh, huh. Italian exchange. All right, the Austro-Italian relations have seen better days and have been scarred by wars lately. We should ease these tensions by recognizing Italian claims on Dalmatia, while relinquishing the Austrian claims on the Italian-dominated portions of South Tyrol around Bozen and Bol Bolzano. Okay, it's kind of cool. After that one, I kind of want to ignite the spark. We've assembled and equipped quite a large amount of willing Germans within the border region to form a militia. Some of our agents, as well as a large portion of infiltrated communist networks, are ready to incite local riots against the French government. We also have gathered enough co compromising material that would link the operation to Moscow. All we need to do now is to incite the spark. Uh, just in case. Nice. <clears> hmm. <throat> Italian exchange. There are equally populous areas in Switzerland that are more Italian than more German areas in Italy that should be exchanged to their respective nations. Nice. Tensino, Switzerland. Vowed. Oh, so they become. Okay. Sorry, Switzerland, you're just going to lose land anyways, because you can. Ignite the spark. Nice. Now oh, the Chinese United Front formed. Ooh. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Hamburg incident, a close call. Equality of opportunity. Man, speech is to us forever.
Go ahead and train. Let's see, who are these tactical bombers? Yeah, we know that many tactical bombers. Ah, oh, I love it. Can't send volunteers, god dang it. Well, there's nothing else on the right side we can do for now. So let's go back to the left side. And I want to do state controlled industry, align hungry. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta get more support down there. Do we stay democ democratic in this one? Consolidate the boon, further centralization. We need aftermath. Our word outlook, new alliance, European vanguard. I kind of want the cancel letter. Or Kaiser, I mean. Mm, more democracy. Cancel. Wait, Kaiser? This seems kind of weird, okay. Uh, free suffrage. It's not bad. Census suffrage, which I kind of prefer. Reforms? Well, I'll give more political power, or traditions. More population. Gross Deutscher Bund. Okay. Land purchase. Well, hmm. Let's go ahead and do this one just so we can get some civilian factories first. We must rid ourselves of the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, we must form an industrial conglomerate under our control. To oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors, as this will reform or form the backbone of our military might. Request from Alsace Lorraine. Alsace Lorraine was a German territory from 1871 to 1918, and it stayed German at its core. The broad break of the French Civil War has left the region mostly unimpacted, as they have refused to pick a side. Local leaders have proposed that we use the situation to restore their position in the German sphere. Most welcome uh, suge suggestion, Willkommen zurück. Exploit the situation, try to shorten the border. Uh, starts a border war between... Oh, Exploit it. Ooh, Nazi-ish. Well, we'll get there. Let's just take these guys over. Um, we could probably start a border war, but... With that, try to shorten the border. I'll take that one. We'll be a little bit nice about that. There we go. Ah, I love it. We already have Alsace Rain in the first episode. Don't mind me. We got a few more factories. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take whatever we can grab, right? Use German city names? Oh, absolutely. That's very Strasbourg. Dismantle them. Oh, oh man, what if they attack our lines now? Oh, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. Ah, uh, Mackinson. I mean, yeah, we could. There's no real point to do that, though. You know, depth charge throwers. Very nice. You know what? I loved, I really enjoyed those really fast focuses. International outrage. The French war reaches Switzerland. Armed communists have occupied the French part of Switzerland and proclaimed their own communist republic as part of the French commune. If we act fast, we can secure the rest of the country. Otherwise, the fire might catch on. Oh, but they just become our puppet. Okay, cool. Love it. Yeah, why not? Extraction. We could do that. It is 37. Let's grab some of this. Today, Mackens presented stacks of incriminating evidence accusing the Soviet Union of not only carrying out sabotage against Germany, but also heinously provoking the civil war in France. Headlines across the Western world are already portraying communism as a face of evil and subversive ideas. Multiple neighboring nations have expressed their gratitude towards Germany, calling it a bastion against radicalism, even though we just had a civil war against Nazis. The relations between Germany and the Soviet Union has been shattered irreparably after the event. Payback. Oh boy. I love all slice right. Oh my, that's disgusting. Ugh. Oh. But hey, they're, they're a puppet of us now, so. Ban the Communist Party. We should use the situation to ban this malicious party once and for all from the list of viable parties. Given the situation, this shouldn't cause too much uproar. Also, it's time to finally apprehend all subversive elements of the different cells which are still operating in Germany. A ban seems too harsh. Surely they'll fade out now that the leaders are gone. Let's rot them. Take them out. Nice. No more communism here. For now. You know, we'll still get more influence by them. Whatever. Oh, not bad. Bund member. Abteilung. Well, we don't have any of that. See, eh, we might as well create one, right? Abwehr. Might as well at least create one, right? I was just trying to get more naval XP, maybe? Maybe not? Maybe a little bit? So we can navigate the globe. Yeah, let's just keep pumping it up, pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, pumping it up. Uh, planes would be nice. I don't think there's really much else we can choose here. Yeah, it kind of sucks. So I'm going to wait to do stuff for this side. I mean, that's not too bad, but let's go with industrial stuff because I'm going to always get more industrial stuff. 5%. We will do some, some synthetic oil research too anyways later on, so not too concerned about that. State control industry. Oh, you know, it was so nice having like a week focus, two weeks, maybe even three or four week focuses, but 70 days again. Oh, oh free France is gone. Leadership purchase in the Soviet Union. Nice. Ah. Good job. Oh, they guaranteed him. Wow. 
How are you guys doing? You guaranteed a communist nation. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. The aftermath. Oh, but we'll read about machine. Or we'll read about that after we get some improved machine tools. Uh, let's see. We're doing that, which is nice. We're doing that, which is really nice. It's only 37, so we got a little bit of time. We got this. We got naval bombers. Cass. Uh, we already have it unlocked. I might as well start using that. That's not bad. I really like Cass, too, so. Excavation, anybody? How about aftermath? The French Civil War has ended, and the international community is still processing the fallout. It's created some issues which we should address sooner or, you know, later. Which would be pretty good. Oh, and we have the Abwehr done. Very good. Very, very nice. We really need to get to a real politik, though. Need more manpower. Oh, that does give us more political power. And the political advisor cost goes down. Eastern Europe. Focus new alliances. The Polish corridor. Start negotiations. Okay, troubling news. The recent civil wars also rekindled tensions in Belgium. The surprising victory of the French commune that has led Walloonian nationals to reconsider their chances. Hoping for a French backup plan, combined with other communist activities, uh, this will create a very volatile cocktail. Keep an eye on the situation. Oh, can we get Eupen then? Riots in Belgium. With a mix of Wallonian nationalists and communist sympathizers have gone out into the streets. Buildings are burning and fronts are forming. With the Belgian army safeguarding the French border, the situation is slowly getting out of control. There are already public calls for French support in case of a larger revolt. Let's see what happens. Dutch intervention. After the public announcement of the popular figureheads of the French commune, they would certainly back their brothers' call to arms should that such a need arise. The government in the Netherlands showed their outrage. As a response, they have guaranteed to help culturally close Flanders. In any case, this is a powder cake just waiting to explode. Sweet. And troubles in paradise. The French, the French Civil War wasted a lot of resources, and many colonies began reorganizing local resistance. France is now undersupplied and barely able to keep them from revolting. If they do not manage to secure a supply of guns, they might have to make some concessions to someone, huh? They won't be able to wage another war anytime soon. Which is a good thing. Request from Luxembourg. Today we received a plea for help from the government of Luxembourg. They fear that the French Revolution might once more affect the small state. They fear a full-scale war between the French commune and Wallonia against Flanders and the Netherlands. Given the unpredictable nature of communism and the possibility they could be helplessly dragged into war, they have decided to choose a side. They place their future and hope into our hands. How can we turn our brothers away? Awesome. A palais de la nation partially destroyed. Today, some radicals stormed the Belgian parliament in Brussels. It's unknown whether the nationals or communists intense, since all attackers were killed during the ensuing firefight after they set fire to one of the eastern rooms. Firefighters quickly rushed to the scene but managed to save only about a third of the building. They for the third, and the royal family fled to the Netherlands as a precaution. A war seems inevitable at this point. The Netherlands might have to follow through with their promise after all. Well, good luck with that, guys. Invitation from the UK. The British are worried about such conflict between France and the Netherlands could spell the end of the entire Netherlands. This would greatly disrupt their control of the English Channel and remove two important trade partners. They wanted help during the conference to put enough outside pressure on both parties. This conference might look like a last-ditch attempt to prevent a war, but in reality it's nothing more than an attempt to preserve the influence in Europe. London conference time, here we go. Anything else? Fighters, yes. We still have some bombers here. I mean, they're so useful. Don't get me wrong, but... Mm. I just have a thing for cast. Lots and lots of cast. London Conference. The question in Belgium will be decided upon by the present powers of France, Germany, the UK, and the Netherlands. All acts of violence are strongly forbidden during the duration of the conference. France represents the interests of Valonia, while well, the Netherlands speaks for Flanders. With that being said, let's address the elephant in the room. First draft of the Treaty of London. The breakup of Belgium is inevitable at this point. All participants agreed upon that Wallonia will therefore become part of the French Empire or the French Commune, while having increased levels of autonomy. Flanders will become an independent nation which will retain parts of the Congo. Burundi and Rwanda will be ceded to the Great British, the British, while the north of the Congo will become part of the French colonies. The small province of Oypen will return to Germany. Buffer seats are outdated anyways. Huh. French refugees during the French Civil War, and especially nearing its end, various French citizens have fled into our country. Among those crowds of worried people we also were also scientists. Scientists that could very well aid in our research. If we let them, or help them, come, we would also increase the risk of moles, though. What should we do? Ordinary jobs, give them the do job they do best. Counterintelligence goes down. Ideology drift defense. And eh, do that one. I want more research speed. The Dutch are not satisfied. The representatives of the Netherlands would rather opt for a reintegration of Flanders into the Netherlands, which would strongly re be rejected by the French commune. In exchange for the benevolence of us in the UK, they would give the Flanders part of the Congo to the UK and see the eastern part of the Duchy of Limburg, as well as the scarcely populated bordership of Frisia, to us. If we agree to these terms, the French commune would probably won't listen to our mediation in the future. We agree upon these terms. Maybe we should stop training. 
Final Treaty of London, the France, Wallonia, and the Northern Congo, to the UK, the remainder of the Congo, and Germany, Eupen, Limburg, and East Frisia, begone Belgium. Now this is not a bad world to live in. Alright, let's make sure we do this again. Oh, thank you. Alright, let's see what happens. Consolidate the boo and further centralization. Probably want to wait to do that. We get more stability, though, which I kind of like. Let's do a worried outlook. Not all things as go as planned, and we are certainly not the exception. Uh, recent developments have led to an unforeseeable chain reaction. We are not sure how the whole situation will evolve. We have to be ready no matter what. Especially since we have the Maginot Line now, which I really like. This thing takes forever. We need to swap more chromium. France tries to deal with the Soviet Union. Due to a lack of options, France decided to approach the Soviet Union, who was willing to sell weapons if France were to adopt Soviet-inspired policies, as well as taking a pro-Soviet stance on the international stage. Enemies everywhere. Luckily, they are still weakened. Just grab one. And operative. Nice. Uh, Sophia Schultz? Yes, please. Not much is happening, so let's do that. And then let's go and do that as well. A word outlook. New alliances. Currently, we stand alone, but we don't have to face the future alone. We should actively look for friends and allies. Of all those who would be cour courageous enough to join us, will be part of the European vanguard, for if we fall, everyone else will succumb to a red menace that spreads like cancer across all of Europe. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Why? Because I need more manpower in the field. And, in any case, go and train, too. Probably need way more guns. Yeah, a lot more guns, support equipment. Light tanks are looking pretty good, though. Let's see. Let's train at least one tank division at a time. Pretty good. Keep that high. There you go. Nice. New alliances shall be fun. And research will be done with these guys. It's still 1937. I would like to at least get to 1938 before we end this episode, so. Hmm, 56. Artillery is not bad. We could use some anti tank, but it's single player, so I'm like, meh, maybe not. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. Anything for air? We could do air doctrine if we really wanted to. I'm kind of thinking we might get some more ex extraction. Now let's grab some rubber processing, because when we build synthetic refineries, we want to get that done as fast as possible. After this, it's always worth going mobile infantry to make our infantry a little bit stronger. Tanks are already pretty strong, you know. But infantry is going to need a little bit of more of a boost. I mean, yeah, recovery rate's okay, but still. Oh, we got new launches. Oh, nice. Uh, next one should be Alicia Banza. Uh, how about counter espionage? Or... Yeah. Let's lower that one. There we go. Mobile infantry time. And Germanic neighbors. Oh, real politic. The things in Europe are once more in motion. We find ourselves in a position which we can use to our advantage. We have to accept the current situation and work with it. Our actions must be quick and popular. More political power, less advisor costs. Nice. And that's what exactly what I wanted uh, to happen for now. So we got that done. Uh, let's start researching some more of this stuff. Smoke generators. Why not? We could probably actually do that later on, but whatever. New, new, yes. Get a spot of armor. And more hangar space. We have no radar, which is fine for now. You know, it is what it is. Beautiful. There you go. We still have a lot more things to do here, but I think those guys will be fine for now. 15, 13, not bad. It's almost 1938. We're getting closer. Get some more extraction, too. Rio Politik. And that'll be done in a while. So after this one, Eastern Europe, why not? We should not stop looking for allies just because they come from a different language, group, or culture. The East is currently a raw gem that just needs some polishing and guidance in order to realize its true potential. There are some nations in particular that share our ambitions and want to challenge the cards they've been dealt with. I want to do all this stuff before we do Consolidate the Boond, because I want to get everyone under us as fast as possible. Maybe even go for Bulgarian, Al Bulgarian Alliance, maybe. We'll see what happens. But I think that'll probably be the best course of action. We do have a lot of political power. 1.43 is not bad. And very good. All right. Oh, I can't do anything there. Uh, research speed. That's not bad. Ship speed. Armor. I can't do anything here. I, let's, I always like getting Messer Schmidt. Messer Schmidt's kind of fun. I do get more daily army XP game, which is also very nice, too. Border's not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. The Deutsche Bund is alive and kicking. So after that, we're going to do maybe the Polish Corridor. Brush has been torn apart as a result of the Treaty of Versailles. Before we can take any steps towards a friendly, neighbor-like relationship, we have to address the issue and make Prussia whole again. Depending on how we conduct this reunification process, we might find new friends or even foes. Even more political power. Don't mind if we do. And approach Hungary. Why not? 
So Hungary was terribly, suffered terribly under the Treaty of Trianon. Seeing its lands taken away and its former pride stolen, they are keen on regaining their lost limbs. We've shown our close ties with Austria. We have to ensure them that they, that we do not intend on infringing on the claims in the process by formally recognizing them as Hungarian lands. They get a bunch of claims, especially on Romania and Slovakia. Yeah, and they get a democratic influence for now. Totally fine. I'm completely ignoring the left side of the focus tree, which is, you know, whatever. It's not that. It's, okay, it's an okay part, but it is what it is. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. Well, good luck with that. And let's grab some of this, because we can. Active sonar, because that'll help out later on. Oh, we still got eight days left. That's fine. Uh, let's see, what do we have over here? Minus five. Uh, five. Yeah, we're going to use it anyways for whatever we use, so. Trade with the Turks. Why not? That should help speed all this stuff up and start negotiations with German Empire. Large, lost swaths of territory in the aftermath of the disastrous First World War, especially in the East. Some concessions were justifiable, but others were quite excessive. Now the Polish quarter splits our nation in half. Before we can pursue any further kind of relationship with the Poles, we just settle this matter first. Let's confirm our claims. And approach Hungary. Network research. Oh, we get some better research. That's not bad. Anglo-German friendship. Okay. Or approach Hungary. Hungary suffered terribly, of course, but we've already read that. Mm, to smash on the vaginal line, the Polish response. Unsurprisingly, the Poles question their claims. They won't consider returning Katowice or Poznan. For the sake of peace and mutual cooperation, however, they're willing to make a compromise when it comes to the question of Danzig and the surrounding areas. Danzig is not enough. Uh, let's see what happens when we do compromise proposal. Because they don't want to give up that much to the Poles, because this is all ours. Compromise proposal. Poland proposed that we relinquish our claims to the rest of Poland for the return of Danzig and the surrounding lands. We the, Also, they want an unlimited and unrestricted Astra access to the Vistula River, as well as docking rights in Danzig. Furthermore, they propose a mutual recognition of the 1973 borders. This would further solidify our claims in Memeland and there's on Lithuania and parts of Latvia. We get Danzig State. Well, that's going to look really ugly. I'll be honest, it's really ugly. But, I wonder what would happen if we just said that's not just not ac acceptable. Why don't we just take them out? But, let's just go with a good deal for now. I mean, in the future, we're going to kick them out of our faction. And then take them out that way, so... That is so ugly. It looks like Poland is bulging into us. Oof. Disgusting. But at least we got Danzig back. That's kind of nice. Still want to build ourselves up some more. Approach Hungary. And then the German-Hungarian alliance. Eastern cooperation. After a peaceful reconciliation, both countries set their sphere of inf inf interest in the East. We made Poland a promise that we would not only give them access to the Vistula River, but also help reclaiming lost lands where it mutually benefits us both. And while the time is right, they will have their very own access to the Baltic Sea once again. And we also discussed the future of Czechoslovakia, too. And let's go and grab. It's almost 38. And it's so close to 38. I'm just going to go do this. Computer machines. Over processing. Not bad. And go and grab some radar too. Well, it's almost 38. Well, it's basically 38 now. And we only have two full lines that the factory's going. Well, it's time to throw in this one more. Yugoslavia requests airplane or sale of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe looking for new sources of fighters and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have insisted on immediate efforts or delivery of transfer of planes directly from the producer. Can't spare anything? Divert bomber production? Uh, yeah, you know what? They can have these uh, tactical bombers since we're not even making them, so... Fine with us. Build, 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 build like crazy. So we need more support equipment, actually, now. Good thing to monitor. We got plenty of artillery, which I'm kind of okay with for now. Only minus 60. That's not bad. Treaty of Danzig. After the resolution of the Qu Polish quarter question, both powers agreed upon further cooperation. Part of this agreement was the restoration of the 1973 borders in the B Baltics before the second partition of Poland. We now have the chance to follow through with the restoration plans. Shall we explore this matter further? Put the squeeze on them. Even though we have no divisions up there. And discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Deepen our ties. Ah, German and Hungarian alliance. Germans and Hungarians have fought side by side over centuries and generations. This has worked out great for a long time. We would do but do go by reporting this alliance. But I think that's going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we shall expand the European vanguard and f unite against the Red Menace. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.